Good morning from Snowdonia. So I've come up this, uh, this wee hill here called Moyle Berford, which is um, on the Penny, at the Penny Pass. So you come up to the Penny Pass car park as if you're going to go up Snowdon. Um, instead of going on the path, either the, the miners track or the pig track as you would normally go for Snowdon or Kriebgok or the, um, the, the Snowdon Horseshoe, sorry, the, um, the Mountain Rescue is just about to come over me. Um, you, you basically come over the other side of the road and then walk up the hill here. So there's been uh, snow forecasts the last couple of days, so I thought I'd better make the most of it um, as I'm due to head back to Sky probably early next week. Sorry, I'll just uh, wait for the helicopter to go over. Right, mate. Right, so hopefully you can hear me a bit better now. I'm just going to adjust my, new, my neutral density so you can see me a bit better now. Yeah, so it's closing in a bit at the moment. So, yeah, so the reason why I didn't uh, decide to go up Snowden direction was because uh, the low cloud over there and um, as I got to the car park, you could see the, the top of Moyle Shabbat, which is what I'm currently pointing at just now. Uh, so I've, I basically, I've kind of walked around this area, <coughs> excuse me, this area here and the look of the compositions. Um, so you've got uh, rocks and grasses still coming out of the snow. There's not, not lots, not, you know, there's not deep snow here, but just enough to um, give you a nice white foreground, let's say with the grasses coming out um, and the rocks. So set up a composition here. So I've gone for a portrait composition where I've got uh, Moyle Shabbat in the background and I found what I think is um, nice bits of grass here in the foreground where you've got rocky outcrop in the midground with Moyle Shabbat in the background. So we'll start with the foreground. So there's a nice kind of line of grasses coming from the bottom right hand of the frame which meets to the middle of the frame and then it kind of points to the, the middle of the, the image and then the distance of the, the I say the background wall shabbard. So I'm currently shooting at an aperture of f16 um, just because there's a lot of depth to the image and it's giving me uh, an exposure time of 180th of a second. So I'll just double check my histogram and I'll take the shot. So yeah, I think that's quite nice. Um, I'm going to wait for a wee bit of light. So I've, um, before I started recording the video, uh, I'd taken a couple of shots, which I'll show as well, just because, you know, I didn't know how the conditions were going to change when they arrived. As I say, to my left, the, the clouds coming in, but to my right, uh, there's a lot of broken clouds. So there's light coming out every now and again. So I got some shots where there's light in the foreground here. And then I got some shots where there's wee bits of light, sorry, wee bits of light on Mal Shabbat. Um, so it keeps coming and going because there's broken cloud over to the, the east. So basically what I do is I just keep waiting, watching, you get crepuscular rays coming out, but they're out of view um, where they're pointing the camera and it's not really that good a view in that direction. I say I want more, more shabby to be in my shot. So it looks like there might be a break any second because I can feel the sun, I mean I can see the sun coming into my eyes now. So I'll just double check my histogram. So because the light's coming out, I need to double check my histogram again. And just wait for it to come. It's probably going to hit the foreground, which is... Not too bad, I probably would have preferred um, the light to be in the background, but that's not going to happen at this time of day because the sun's almost uh, perpendicular to Mall Shabbat, so it needs to be kind of later on in the afternoon when it potentially be hitting Mall Shabbat. But when, it's, when they're hitting the snow in the foreground, that actually gives you a nice bit of contrast. Now one other thing, I'm also shooting, um, I've set my camera to shoot in black and white picture style, just because when I first started, I thought it kind of lent itself well to the, the contrast, the, the whites and the... Of the, of the snow and then the dark rocks and they say the mountain in the background mall shabbard with the, with the snow on it and not, that light's not going to come out so yeah so I'll just hang fire and um, see if I can get shot with some sort of light in the shot um, yeah so once I've got that I'm just going to wander around this area I think there's probably other compositions to be had um, probably again looking towards mall shabbard um, I can't quite see the Snowden horseshoe at the moment no it's still covered in cloud so yeah, so hang fire, see if I can get this shot, and then have a wee wonder. So I've gone and put the, uh, the 100 to 400 millimeter lens on. I'm pointing over towards the, the Snowden Horseshoe, a particular peak which I believe is called Cribau. 
Um, so yeah, I'll um, stick her up here if I've got that wrong. So if we're going to live view, so Cribau, crib excuse me, is almost about centre stage of the, of the frame. Um, so I've got a little bit of the ridge on the left hand side coming in from the left of the frame. So it joins Cribau and then you go up the peak of Cribau and then off to the right to the next ridge which is up in the cloud. So settings wise I've gone for f11 because I'm almost at 400 millimeter end and that's the kind of the sharpest aperture for this lens at the, at the longer end because of 4.5 to 5.6 lens. That's given me an exposure time of 1 20th of a second. So yeah um, you can see Cribau at the moment so I'm going to take the shot now. And there you go. You know, there's not a lot to it. It's just quite a nice, simple, pleasing shot. When you've got the, uh, the, the, the snow in the mountains here, I quite often like just putting the longer lens on and picking details out because you've got the nice contrast between the white snow and the black rock. So I may have a play around, see if I can find other compositions. Um, and then after that, go in search of, of other compositions with the wide angle lens again. So yeah, so I'll just uh, carry on and keep having a look around. So I've had a wee wander and uh, I found a nice little area here where you've got this kind of boggy, marshy, lake type thing going on. Um, where you've got, it's quite quite boggy like I said, so where the, where the, fall, the, where the snow is falling on it, it um, kind of looks quite slushy. And down where it's not so boggy, on the edge of it you've got the snow, so you've got the kind of the light, the edge, you can see the edge of the bogginess, shall we say. And I've kind of wandered around this area for a bit because it's quite a reasonably big area. Um, you can look over to my right where you've got Mal Shabbard. You can look directly in front of this way. Sorry, I don't know the name of this hill off the top of my head. Um, potentially over towards the Snowden Way, but it could be maybe, it might not work because there's kind of big rocky outcrops which may be too high out of the way. But I've settled for this one for now. Not settled, I've gone for this one for now. Um, portrait composition again, I'm sticking with the black and white uh, picture style just because I'm finding today that it's kind of working better for me to pre-visualise the images and um, they may end up being coloured but I'm kind of looking, I'm liking the look of them in black and white at the moment. So if I just uh, turn on my live view, um, so what, the way that I've composed it is I have the, from the bottom right hand corner I've got the edge of the, the bogginess where the bogginess meets the kind of the more grassy area coming in and it kind of squiggles up shall we say towards the middle of frame and I've got this rocky outcrop here which almost mimics the hill in the background. So I'm going for f14, I've gone for a 4x3 crop and because I just didn't like the height of the, the 3x2 crop in the portrait for this one and that's given me an exposure time of 1 30 of a second so if I just take the, the shot now I've got a two second timer on for the delay and yeah I think that could work. So it looks like it's going to close in for a bit. Uh, yeah, it's really clouded over now, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get any light um, for a little while, or if at all. But uh, yeah, I'm going to keep wandering around this area, see if I can find some more compositions, and uh, yeah, as usual, see what I can find. So I've walked uh, maybe 10 metres from where my, my last shot was taken and I found another composition. Uh, looking in the same direction, and I've had a look on the Ordnance Survey map, and um, being a bit silly, um, I should have realised what the mountain was, and the, what the mountains were in the background. You've got Glider 4 and Glider Fach. So, looking at my composition here, um, sticking with this bogginess that we've got around here, but in this particular area, I've got these two circular mounds, which are really quite light, and then you've got the, uh, I'd say, the, the slushiness um, around the edges of it, leading you into the distance um, where you've got the, the, the Glitterau. So, f14, I'm sticking with that aperture because of this lens, um, seems to be performing well at this aperture um, in the portrait composition. 1 20th of a second, um, so I'll take a shot now. 
two second delay on the timer again rather than using my remote release and yeah that looks quite good um might might come out okay um it looks like probably not going to light get any light if at all yeah it's really kind of the, the clouds getting really quite low now and it's already kind of uh, icy yeah, sort of not quite snow yet um so the weather might be turning so it might be time for me to kind of head off here soon and um, head down into the valley and see if I can find something down there. Um, but if I can't, um, this is only the, 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 the day I'm recording this is the day after I uploaded my, my last um, video from Attingham Park in Shropshire. Um, but I'd like to thank everyone for the response so far to it. And um, I hope you liked this video as well. If you did, yep please feel free to give that thumbs up. Any comments appreciate it as always. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to it for, to see more content and um, hit the bell icon to be notified when another video has been uploaded. But until that one, bye bye.